so hello i didn't think i'd ever vlog like this but i wanted to show you the before and my birthday transformation this is me in all my glory of not taking care of myself while i work so when i get to this point it needs to be a full extreme glow up but really it's just like i need to take care of myself you know and put myself back together do all of the little things that make me feel better so if you want to come along on this little journey then you can see if maybe i get any better looking okay <laughs> okay just wanted to pop in here and thank Dossier for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you who have been watching this channel and we have officially gotten our first sponsorship which is so incredibly awesome and I'm so grateful especially because this brand is so cool so dossier basically is fragrance perfume inspired by luxury brands at a fraction of the price and you guys know i love dupes and deals and it's basically all i buy just to savor in general so these are perfect they come in the cutest little like they look so proper so professional and i have ambry saffron and fruity jasmine and they all look just like this. And they're inspired, like I said, by a luxury fragrance that is already sold, but for most likely hundreds of dollars for a full bottle, whereas the lowest you can get on Dossier is $29, which is an insanely low price for a good fragrance in a full-sized bottle. And I'm telling you, these smell so good. In fact, my sister, I wore it the other day and my sister said that the next day she could still smell it on me and I didn't reapply it. So that's how well it lasts. You can actually take a quiz on their website to find out what kind of fragrance you would like. And if you do not like a perfume, since it is hard to buy online, you can actually get one of these bottles in the mail, try it out. If you hate it, you can send it back and you get a refund and they will donate the bottle of perfume to charity. So it's not like they just throw it out. They make sure that it has a good home even if it wasn't the right home for you. And I just think that it's wonderful. They are vegan, they are cruelty free. And I think they are a great brand that I am so happy that I was even made aware of. But you guys know that regardless of if I'm sponsored or not, I like the product because I like it first and then I accept the sponsorship. So yeah, if you want to check dossier out i have a coupon code that will be linked in the description just go down there and thank you to dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video so let's get into the transformation so the first thing i think i'm gonna do is do a little workout and i've been loving this grow with joe she does like little walk off the weight kind of videos and yes i work out my pajamas don't judge me i don't want to do more laundry so here i am Okay, so since it's time to shower, I wanted to show you some of the products I'm going to be using. So for my hair, I'm going to do this hair mask, but use it more as like a conditioner and keep it in pretty much while I'm doing the rest of my routine, which is going to be a little bit longer today because I am shaving and doing everything. But before I shave, I'm going to be exfoliating my whole body with the Dove body polish. This stuff is so good. It smells so good and it doesn't irritate my skin even though it does have you know physical exfoliants in it I do find that it's pretty gentle and then after that I'm going to go ahead and go in with this and you may be thinking this isn't a shower product but it actually works so much better that way because body oil can be so thick when you just put it on you have to wait for it to dry so I put it on in the shower rinse it off and it still gives you that glow Okay, so I'm all out and clean now. I've done one layer of lotion. I've also done my skincare, but I did want to show you my tanning process. So I use this because it is the least harsh tanner I've ever found. And I don't really tan to have more color because I'm so pale that it will probably look ridiculous if I try to. So this is kind of for more of a glow. And I just use Jergens Natural Glow and Fair to Medium and I put it over a lotion. So I just put some random lotion that I find that's, you know, just does the job of actually lotioning. And then I put this on so it doesn't cling to any dry patches. And it's really cool. It comes out just like a lotion and then it slowly turns 
to just like a little bit of a tan i'm telling you like it's you oh, can you see there's my name <laughs> it's like nothing major at all but for me it just helps me feel more confident and more glowy especially when i start wearing things without um legs you know no pants now i'm gonna go in with some eye masks these are my favorite from amazon green tea matcha they're just the eye patches that are super slimy and ooh, they look like that but they leave my under eyes feeling so moisturized that may just be a placebo i think i'm gonna do the fruity jasmine for bed tonight and i just do a little bit on my neck a little bit on my wrist just because it is bed like i'm the only one smelling me but it matters it matters when it's only you two okay all right now that i've put on my kiss nails that make me feel and look like a witch that's going to cast spell yes i'm gonna eat if she's danish i've been obsessed with pastries lately found this one it's a strawberry <laughs> my eyes maker it's a strawberry cheese danish and yes i've already eaten half and yes that was today i'm gonna eat more too it's real good and it's my birthday weekend so i can have whatever i want and i worked out earlier so it really is just okay all right all right oh, you haven't seen my cat this video here she is oh Okay, well, she doesn't want to be on camera. I'm going to respect her wishes and put the camera away for now. Okay, so now that my hair is dried into this floofy mess, I wanted to show you guys how I get my super ringlet curls, which some of you say look like natural curls. And really, it's quite simple. So I found this um, curling iron on Amazon. And the difference is, of course, it's quite thin. Like you can, let's see if I can show you. It's very thin, but the difference is this one has a very square kind of rod. So it's not circular. It has the edges to it. And I think that that is what really gives it the more like natural look to it. And so when I take super small pieces, I, I actually go through and do like layers throughout my hair. I'll show you. And then I do um, just kind of randomly will go like one way and then the other but it's not like a constant back and forth I just do very random and that gives it the more like okay these may be her natural curls you know um and it takes quite a bit of time which is why I do it in my bed because I'm like I'd rather sit here and watch a show and do it than stand in my bathroom maybe I'm just lazy but that's what I do and then when I get to the top I'll show you kind of how I do the top so it doesn't look like you kind of have just like a middle part and then like super big hair on the sides because that personally doesn't look good for me so I'll show you what I do when I get there but I just I take really small layers because again like it's a very very small rod so it's gonna take a while but I'd say yeah something like this and then with the rest of my hair either put it in a hair tie or a clip like this secure it and then I have this here so I just start grabbing probably about maybe this size of hair and oh sorry and then I just take it and you want to make sure that the hair is being curled all the way to the root because if you just do the bottom half then of course the top of your hair is going to look kind of funky so do it all the way from the root as close as you can get to the very bottom and you have to make sure you don't burn your fingers at the bottom so it is a little tricky but you just hold it there for a little bit and then I kind of like scratch it off with my finger and it ends up being like this.
my camera died, but I finished the rest of the hair besides this lovely straight stripe down the middle because I wanted to show you what I do to get that, I guess, volume at the top. So I make sure that I have it at a very deep side part. And then I have, you know, about two inches here at the top. And so once I get it like this, where I want all of this hair to go over here, then I take a small section out of the top. I know this seems really weird, but this is just what I do. Take a small section and I put it over here. So when I curl it, these are going to all go this way and these are all going to go this way. And then when you flip it all over, there's going to be a lot more volume and definition since you basically curled it the wrong way. I'll show you. Okay, so now that I've had every single piece curled, I hope I didn't mess anything, I literally look like this. Then I go ahead and kind of flip my head this way to where pieces go over and it starts to look better. You kind of see what I was going for here. However, it's not gonna be perfect because I am gonna sleep on it. Well, I actually forgot that I was recording, but thankfully I haven't touched my hair yet. I just did a layer of foundation and some powder, but for my hair, you can see it's a little less poodle-ish, still very much so, but a little less. I'll show you what the back looks like. And normally what I do from here is just take a regular brush. I know I should probably use a comb or something, but I found that this really helps the curls to separate. So I just go through and very gently do the ends and then just kind of, you see I'm not like fully brushing it, I'm just kind of pulling at it if that makes sense. Just brushing a little bit of it so I'm getting some of that separation but it's not fully going through my curls especially up here at the top i kind of pull it and then let it fall i'm sure there's a technique for this but this is how i have found that the curls look the most natural i've always wanted curly hair take the not your mother's beach babe texturizing dry shampoo i'm gonna flip my head over spray it down flip it back and you'll see is that look good to you it looks good to me then i go in with cream blush so the one i like is actually from undone beauty i got it from target i love a deeper blush color and i take my broken brush and I just kind of dip it in there a little bit and then I like to focus it up kind of higher than most people do their blush just to give my face a little bit of a lift so I use my very dirty <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and what I like to do is coat my brows first and then color them in and then coat them again. I don't use a soap brow. I've never tried it because it freaks me out, the thought of putting soap on my face. So this is what I do to really make them stand up and stay in place. And then I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Straw Burn. This is broken, I'm not sure. Oh god, how a product so expensive broke, but it did. But thankfully that was the only that was only the um like brush side and this side still works. However, this is not my favorite color. It's the only auburn color they have, but it's a lot more brown than I normally go for my eye brows. However, when you don't have any options, this is just what you use. So I just go in and line the bottom first and then start spiking the brow hairs up. But then once again, I take the clear brow gel and I run it through to 
to make that stick. I use this puff ball and do this kind of all over my lid. Today I think I'm going to do a little bit of maybe gold shimmer. It's called West Coast. Just do that in the center. So for my eyeliner, sometimes I use a liquid, but I found I really like to use that little eyebrow brush. Take my setting spray, get a little spritz, and then use a dark eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to use this homegrown, which is like a purpley dark brown. Tap it in there and just do a little wing coming out. Oh, next I'm going to do mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Here they are. So I take these Ardell individual lashes. I ever use them just like you would actual lashes. Um, but they come in like clumps of like three different lashes and then I take the duo lash glue and I just start at the end. I don't do a ton of them, but I start at the end and just add a little bit of glare to the end and I find that that gives the eye a lot. I feel like I would really actually love lash extensions, but I'm just not about to spend that much money on them so yeah so this will do for now what do you think can you see a difference which eye do you like better let me know okay now i have both eyes done and i'm going to use my nyx dewy finish setting spray just to lock it all in i always hold my hand over my hair And I use my little fan. Which also tests if my eyelashes are just gonna blow away in the wind. <laughs> Elifter Gloss by Maybelline. So good. Makes your lips look so plump, but there's no like tingling or anything. This one's in stone. It's just so glossy that it does it naturally. Okay. Let it adjust. Hello. I know I'm not a smurf. Come on, camera. Hello. I feel like it's a definite difference than how I looked at the beginning of this vlog, right? Please tell me I'm right. <laughs> okay, so now let's go into my closet and get my outfit. So we're in my closet and I think I'm going to go with this new dress that I got. This is what it looks like. Got it from Target and it fits perfectly. So I think I'm gonna go with this and maybe even some heels that are down there. I haven't picked those out yet, but yeah, I'm gonna put it on and then I'll show you. Are you ready to see the full transformation? Okay, so this is the dress I'm wearing. It's really hard to get it all in the shot, but I absolutely love it. It has the puffy sleeves. I did not anticipate the buttons being so hard with my nails, but I got it done. Don't need no man. I did it myself. So let me set you up here and then I can show you the full picture. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I love it so much. I feel like it cinches in right here and just makes everything look good. But I brought out these heels that I think I'm going to wear with them. I just thrifted these. Okay. I feel like I'm all ass bitch, bitch, bitch. So I'm going to use my ambery saffron today because it just makes me feel real sexy. Oh my gosh, that seriously smells so good. Mm. Just want to put it everywhere. <laughs> okay, well, I think that that is it for my glow up transformation. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. If you want me to go into depth about more of my routines, like my beauty routines. 
and if you'd rather these videos be in more like a vlog format like I did today or kind of like a sit down kind of video where I'm just more talking about what I do rather than doing it, just let me know. And I love you all so incredibly much. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Okay, bye.